Who were the £10 Poms? Hi, I'm Michelle Keegan. I'm Warren Brown. I'm Fear Mars here from the Stan original series £10 Poms, and we're here to bring you up to speed. It's 1945 in Australia. The Second World War has just ended. The government wants to grow Australia's population and supply workers for its booming industries. It's when the slogan, populate or perish, is born. So the government introduces a migration programme known as the Assisted Passage Migration Scheme to attract immigrants from Britain. They lure hundreds of thousands of Brits across the seas with a £10 ticket, more than 10 times less than the price of a normal fare and the promise of a sunnier future. Goodbye rain, hello, 300 days of sunshine a year. Those who took up the offer became known as the £10 Poms. One and a half million migrants came to Australia under the scheme. It was one of the largest assisted migration schemes in history. Here we go then, start of our new lives. But upon arrival in Australia, the migrants' dreams of a warmer climate, employment and owning their own homes were met with the realities of adapting to a new life. G'day, g'day, new arrivals. Welcome to paradise. Most stayed in hostels, sharing with migrants from other countries. He showed us whitewashed houses and huge gardens. He lied to us. We'll make it work. The expected job opportunities weren't always readily available. Ten pound loser. The arrivals had to stay for two years or pay back the money. I miss people's voices. Everyone sounds very different over here. More than 250,000 migrants who felt homesick or misled about the opportunities in Australia returned home after two years. We came here for our family, and I do not regret it, not for one second. The Stan original series, 10 pound palms, is coming soon, only on Stan. For more behind the scenes from the Stan original series, 10 pound palms, Click here and subscribe.